I think there's, there's a lot of lessons in, in that for all of us. So the message in part of Jesus' preaching, it, Jesus is always pointing to the immediacy of the kingdom of God. So the question for all of us, how immediate is the kingdom of God in our lives? You know, that was 2,000 years ago. And what if Jesus were to have said, well, the kingdom of God will come in 4,000 years. How would that affect us? How would it affect those people? How would it affect us if Jesus had said to them at that point in time, the kingdom of God now will come in 2,000 years. They would still have been very, very disappointed, but you and I, brethren, would be pretty scared, in a sense, because, whoa, it's right here now. And, and, and what about all these things that could happen? Jesus tells us other things as well. And, and then how would we act? How do we respond? Or... The kingdom of God, when it really, the kingdom of God really comes, it'll be like a millennium. The desert will blossom as a rose. We'll have all of this thing. Christ will be ruling and everybody will be obeying him and all of that. That's kind of the fullest. Well, that's not quite the fullness of the kingdom because then there's the after the, the millennium. That would be the kind of the total fullness of the kingdom. And this is how people will live and this is what people will be like. But we're not there yet, therefore... We, we, we're still hoping and we're waiting and we're enduring until the end. Or is Jesus rather telling us here in this very introductory statement, repent, the kingdom of God is here, is near, is at hand, the, the way in which he uses the kingdom of heaven, and that you, we know we sang that song, Jesus the light of the world, that the shine on the whole world, the number of the songs that we sang today really spoke to that. The fact that Jesus has come, repent, change, and that you and I ought to be living the kingdom of God today. And how does that look in our life? Because is Jesus saying, I want you to wait? I want you to wait until all of these things are just perfect. All, everything's in alignment to fullness. I've come. The, kingdom, the fullness of the kingdom is established. And also we need to understand, how, how good is this kingdom? Is it any good at all? Is it, the, you know, what happens in the kingdom? What kind of people are in the kingdom? Those are some of the things that we want to kind of take a look at today in the reality. Because Jesus, again, is always pointing to the, the reality of the nearness of the kingdom, but also the nearness of God. Now, how many of us, when we have gotten far away from church, far away from parents, or far away from any situation, do we ever get tempted to live a little differently than we would otherwise? Because nobody will ever know. I mean, we, you, we kind of do those kind of things thinking that nobody will ever know. And we can slip around and do things. Well, we live in a world that thinks that God is really way, way far off and that God is not near. Yet we sang the song today, we are standing on holy ground, and where Jesus also tells where two or three are gathered together, I am there also. So how far is God away from us today? Is he a million, billion light years away? Is he two feet away? Or is he closer than that in reality? Now, there's a very interesting scripture, of course, we know that, which says that God dwells in us. Well, that's, that's pretty close. That's pretty near. But we also have an interesting scripture written by the Apostle Paul in the book of Acts. And it's written to, to people, and he refers to the people that he's writing to and, and to the God that they are talking about as the unknown God. But this is in Acts chapter 17, verses 27 and 28. Feeling the blues today, or tired of life already? Do you have questions about life, or need spiritual advice? We can help. Log on to WorldwideChurchOfGod.com or WCGFairfield.blogspot.com and stay connected to reality. 
Worldwide Church of God in Fairfield, Santa Rosa, and Modesto are located in the San Francisco Bay Area, regarded as the most prosperous region in the United States. We believe Jesus Christ when he proclaimed in Matthew 6.24 that serving God is more important than serving mammon. We welcome everyone to come and worship and fellowship every Saturday at the times listed on your screen and on our website, worldwidechurchofgod.com.